We're going live. And we are live here with another Real News Quarantine here on Versa Media. And we're going to play some more Minecraft and try and find my home. But it's been another crazy day with more deaths, more cases, and more quarantining. Not much in the news other than that, of course, but it's... I don't know about you guys, but today was a drag for me. Yeah, I didn't really... I mean, I've just been working, so... Did you really... see the um, videos I posted of people raiding Zoom meetings? I didn't see the videos. I mean, I've heard of it. For, like, I was thinking the one told you about it beforehand. Dude, these people are going, like, like extra, extra edgy with their uh, ratings. Um, one... well, that's what they've always done. They go and put like, oh yeah, yeah, keep going. No, what were you saying? Yeah, that's what they always do. They put like shock content on there, like in front of fucking their teachers, whether it be college or high school. Well, I I found out how people are doing this. They're basically creating Discord servers, like they create a subreddit for this sort of shit. Call it, they're calling it Zoom bombing, and they create like a bunch of discord servers where people get in you know formulate plans and they post the links to the zooms and then go in them um with you know funny names and one person see this, this is the type of like shit people are doing is they're going in to like not just classes but they're going into like all these old people meetings and they're going into church meetings too and they're just shouting like rid like the most offensive shit like the n-word or you know Hitler jokes <laughs> and one person literally I'm not making this up he literally said um uh he was in the meeting and then the guy running it uh was like where are you from sir and he goes New York and he's like oh really he's like yeah I'm from that place where uh that thing happened and then he his screen like because you know how you can see people's like video cameras he he had his video camera switched to a screen share and he switched it uh, to where so showing a video of 9-11 happening <laughs> <laughs> he's like this has, this is where i'm from we boo and i was like oh my god this shit is getting crazy and they were doing like really offensive stuff like that like they were going on there and like calling people like fat and like they're saying leslie's a bitch or i want to fuck leslie and they were just like going crazy with this shit and so they've been making video compilations of this uh, zoom bombing and one even happened to a climate change group at penn state because i saw in their group me they said uh, we had to end the meeting, guys. It was getting zoom bombed, so we had so DM me for the password. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I was just I was just briefly looking at some of the some of these little news articles or whatever, and uh, like, dude, apparently somebody tried to. Somebody tried to derail an en a train engineer tried to derail the fucking train and run it into uh, the U.S. Mercy USS Mercy. What the fuck? Yeah. Hold on. Federal prosecutors say that an engineer deliberately derailed a train on Tuesday near the port of Los Angeles and attempt to crash it into the U.S. USNS Mercy, a military hospital ship that deployed. Uh, that was deployed to the area to assist hospitals. Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck are we doing? Like, like, Jesus, like, like how fucked in the head do you have to be to attempt to do that shit? Like, seriously, like, like you're trying, you're, you're based, you're trying to damage a medical ship. That could potentially have women and children in it. Like, I mean, on honestly, the the the, the train probably wouldn't dent that big ass carrier. Mm. But I mean, you put it in realistic perspective. But 
I mean, especially if you're trying to derail the train, it's not going to go like like Port of Los Angeles. I'm trying to even think. No, I don't. I, I'm not sure you would even really be able to read one that the the U.S. USNS Mercer. That that's a big that's a big ship. That is a big sturdy ship. Like you're not you're not going to budget like um. And then, like, I don't know. Like, anyway, so the engineer, uh, he's, he's um, facing up to 20 years in federal prison time. Uh, well, yeah, I hope he gets every fucking minute of that shit. Fuck that guy. Yeah, that's like the scum of the scum of the earth. Even fucking Charles Manson didn't do that. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. It's It's like... It's like, what are you trying to, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to prove? It's yeah. like, uh, like, hold on. I was seeing something. Uh, oh, okay. So he is, he is arrested on terrorism charges, which means his, his quality of life is fucked. Uh, yeah, well, so there's that what like <clears throat> i'm telling you like the left is insane the left is insane you the, the this this guy has this this train engineer has to be a fucking leftist there's no way <laughs> there's like like i'm like how well number one it was an unsuccessful terrorist attack so it's definitely right. a leftist and number yeah. two who the fuck would think to do that yeah, I, I, I mean, it's like, 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 what you you're trying to protest? Well, only, only the left does weird protests. The, the the left does these weird, like the crying, unsuccessful protests. Yeah, like it's no like when they did a... that at Penn State, there was a fucking like dying in the hub to protest like police brutality, all like laid on the floor in the hub. It's like get the fuck out of the way. I'm trying to get my Jamba Juice. Yeah, these people, they don't know what the fuck they're doing, man. Or there was, like, the um, protest against, uh, quote-unquote, far-right groups getting university money, and they had, like, a fucking, like, girl that, like, had, like, a Planned Parenthood shirt, and she had this, I'm not making this up, I'm not making fun of her, I'm just, just telling you the facts. She literally had this, like, fat coming out of her shirt, because she had, like, a crop top, and she had the I fat coming that. out. Yeah, this girl was, like, she was, like, huge and it had like all these cuts on it and shit on her stomach i'm like what the, do you think this makes your movement look good i mean they, they're not sending their best it is just ugh. i'm like, gonna hear alex jones come up with these metaphors some he's like ah they're goblins and they're uh you know all these things it's like yeah you look at them you're like what the fuck I'm I'm reading I'm reading more uh the the US intelligence tells Trump that China intentionally lied. Oh yeah. Oh there's oh big fucking shocker there. Yeah, I put that as the title what? for this video. I Get know. Get the fuck out of here. Who would suspect? I know, right? China would never do such a thing. No, they I always thought of them to be honest people. Yeah. <laughs> or honest government. I'm sorry. The Chinese people. Uh, you know, I have nothing against the Chinese people, but your government is shit. That's that's all I'm saying. Second. Yeah, they're pretty... Yeah. What was that? What's up? Uh, we should go and, like... Yeah, like, the Chinese government, man. I, I like, when I, we talked about this earlier, we need to go and give fucking recognition to Taiwan as the true fucking china now because china fucked up so bad they don't deserve to be called fucking china mm -hmm. and renamed china like china too <laughs> or like fucking what new would be... china yeah i don't know what would be something funny that they would like hate um what what oh when call winnie the pooh name it rename it tibet <laughs> no it's no a, a tiananmen Yes. <laughs> no, re rename it Chinese Taiwan. There you go. <laughs> yeah. See, I think both people would hate it then. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Or because 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 I think there's something like Chinese Taipei or something like that. They should just call China Taiwanese China. Taiwanese China. Yeah. Greater Hong Kong or something. People's Republic of um, Hong Kong. Korea t- version two. <laughs> Oh my god. West Korea. <laughs> Piss off the fucking Koreans <laughs> as well. But then you need <laughs> East Korea. <laughs> Wait, because I think the Chinese, like, well, they obviously don't hate North Korea that much, but I don't think they're too friendly with, you know. Well, actually, I don't know. Like, they got a weird relationship with South Korea. I remember talking to my uh, friend Harry about that that one mm, time. Yeah, in the lost episode. <laughs> So pissed. That was, yeah. that was our last transmission, technically, on the radio, and it got fucking lost. <laughs> yeah, I was happy I came that time because that was the last time I could be on the fucking air. Well, I'm, you know, if I go up for graduation, which hopefully happens, uh, I, I'll, I'm gonna ask for permission to fucking like get in that studio or something. And if you, you should do that, I mean, I don't see why I couldn't give you fucking that last request. Oh no, right? Or if I f- visit my girlfriend, I can, you know maybe do a few more transmissions then on like weekends when I visit her. Well don't they have that like one woman who goes over there that doesn't yeah, like you? Yeah, yeah, that's what I like see here's the thing is I think technically um I don't know what the show requirements are like if you have to be at your show. They 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 keep saying in emails like when something happens they're like, "Oh, don't worry about missing your show." And I'm like, "Well, what were you going to do if I missed it anyway? Like are you guys going to check, but Theoretically, I mean, I can pay for a membership there and, you know, only do it a few times a year or something. I don't know. How much does their membership cost? I think it's only 10, 20 bucks. Like, it's really cheap. Holy shit, that's fucking worth it. Oh, like... well, it's dues, you know. it's it, I don't know. Well, for students, that's the price. I don't know for non-students if it's a different deal. Yeah, you should go and look that up. Yeah, fact check it. Yeah, because if that's the case, I wonder if you could, like, even, like, work something out where we could just fucking remote broadcast this. No, I can't because you need that special um, remote broadcasting equipment and somebody needs to be in the studio. Unfortunately, maybe there's another way around it I could ask, but, you know, I I, I don't, I, unfortunately, I think that's harder than it uh, it seems. I wonder if there's, like, some random fucking... Radio like, station we can join. Radio station in the middle of fucking nowhere. That's Like, in know, the Red States. Dude, that's another idea, actually. Why don't I just join another radio station? I already have qualifications. I've already done one. Yeah, you should go and see if you can find, like, some radio station, like, the Midwest or something that, you know, no one fucking listens to. Or, like, it's... Well, actually, you know, you probably have more people listening to those because they don't have, like... Anything else. Yeah, they might not have internet. So or maybe like, just... I can find another university locally, uh, like Westchester University or something, see if I can join those. I mean, maybe they'll let me. Who knows? Oh, you just doxed to your area. Oops. <laughs> Don't well, dox me, bro. It's, it's a big area, so I mean... If you try to dox me, I'll fucking Zoom bomb you. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, geez, you're gonna hear that like i keep seeing these articles like all oh, these hackers like bitch this has nothing to do with fucking hacking it's that was what i was gonna mention too i because they played in the zoom bombing compilation i found the, they start off because they said they made the news and they were like yo obviously they were giving them what they want the trolls what they wanted and it was hilarious because every one of them called it hacking and i'm like Guys, this isn't fucking hacking. I think my mother even got an email from her school saying, yeah, kids are hacking Zooms. I didn't find that email, but I even told her, I'm like, it's not hacking. That was before I even knew about like this shit that was really happening when I just kind of heard about it. I'm like, no, this isn't hacking. It's people just sharing a fucking link. It's very easy. And everyone thought the idea, like even we were talking about, like when you know you could just literally just raid these things, because it's so easy. Like it, it, that's that's what made this trolling operation so successful. Honestly, is because it's so easy that anyone can do it, and a lot of people can do it. All right, looks like I'm finding my way home. 
for once. Oh, this is interesting. Zoom illegally shared data with Facebook according to lawsuit. Oh, well, imagine my shock. Fucking Zoom. God, I don't want to look at Zoom. Like, literally, even right now, I don't even want to look at it ever again. I'm getting so tired of looking at that for classes. I mean, I mean, yeah, I was the one that always bitched about, like, yeah, everything should be online. I still kind of believe that to some degree, but... God, I, I just wish I could do other things. I'm just getting going nuts, kind of. I mean, uh, <laughs> it's going to be another month of this. Because what starts to happen, I notice, is like, even though I have time to do other things, I don't even get them into the mood to do other things, if you know what I mean. Like, your work ethic just kind of plummets. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my God! What's this? UT online gathering disrupted by racist Zoom bombing. <laughs> what is this? What's UT University of Texas? I guess. Yeah. That's the thing. They keep calling them like racist and all these things. Like, no, you hear people just being edge lords. Like, some of it is like a little too even offensive for my taste. But, oh my god. You know. I don't care, dude. It's fucking trolling. It's I fucking know. Funny. But it's just, I don't know. Sometimes I think it does go a little too far from my taste. But, like, disrupting the church things, like, I don't know. I think that's. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, disrupting. Well, they should, like, see, this is why you should not use fucking Zoom. Like, oh, this yeah. isn't, like, you know, if any other fucking application. You know, you can go and have some form of authentication. Like, you can join, like, a fucking Skype meeting. You know, you can't just fucking randomly join links, like, if you set up correctly. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing. I I do... That's kind of the thing, like, with hackers, too. I like when people find vulnerabilities in a system and point them out to people. You know, I do like that. And that's what I do kind of... I think is a good effect of this. Um... But at the same time, I wish they would, like, and I know they're going for these, but they need to hit more, like, gender studies classes and shit like that. Like, those are the people that deserve to get Zoom bombed. Yeah. Da, 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 da. I think close to my home. This looks familiar. Do, 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 do. It's a beautiful day in the blocky neighborhood that is Minecraft. Oh, and there was an article on The Verge talking about how a bunch of college kids are making their universities in Minecraft, which was an idea we were even joking about here. University of Pennsylvania has already uh, got a pretty uh, good uh, Minecraft version of their school. So on the Penn State subreddit, like, people were sharing that article like, yo, guys, we, we got to step up our game. And so I was sharing it around, too, because I'm like, yeah, let's fucking do it, guys. It'd be funny. No, 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 no. You know what would be actually terrible? I just saw something. What if people start Zoom bombing club elections? Huh. Yeah, that would be, uh... Yeah, that'd be a terrible... Terrible thing. Like, who would do something like that? What monster... <laughs> Fuck, I'm stuck up here. Woo! Whoop, don't die. Well, I guess I'd share the link out for the stream. Maybe we'll get more viewers. We got two new, new people in our Discord, I think, from this fucking stream. <laughs> what did you do? I'm just rooting more of this shit. <laughs> Another school and online class was disrupted by someone who is visibly displaying tattoos of swastika. <laughs> 
Last week, separate tours using racist and vile language infiltrated and disrupted online classes held by University of South Carolina. <laughs> Oh my god, the University of Texas at Austin is investing in a racist incident in which someone disrupted an online meeting on Zoom among students, staff, and faculty. It occurred during the first Zoom meeting for the school's Herman Sweat Center for Black Males. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh, Jesus. Does uh, Penn State's, like, what was it, that diversity center have Zoom meetings? Ooh. It'd be a shame if we could find that out. They might. That's the thing is people are being so fucking like liberal with how they share these links. I'm like, you do realize anyone can use that link and join your fucking meeting. I yeah, would, like um, I was going to say. I mean, I the whole thing, it was meant to be easy so that like even public school teachers can do it. That's the problem. But, um. But, yeah, I mean, you know, they could at least, like, have you put a fucking profile picture on or something, or, like, like, they like they do have options in there, like, they have a waiting room before you can get in. Mm-hmm. Well, one of them, I was, um, I was watching some of them, because they broadcast these live into these Discord servers, and one guy was, like, dressed up in a fucking, like, bandana... And like a, he had like a, a rag wrapped around his head because he was trying to look like a terrorist. And hold on, oh, fuck. a fucking advertisement. He was trying to look like a terrorist, so he like took like some like rag he had and wrapped it around him. No, I'm not saying that in a racist way. I'm just saying it's what he did. And then he had on his background Osama bin Laden, and he was like fucking berating all these people. Oh my god, that's funny. Did you see the videos I posted of it? I already posted them. General. I never checked the general channel. They did. You were arguing with the cat ladies. Oh yeah, the cat people. That's what they felt like. What was your take on those peoples? Uh, uh, they seem nice. I mean, I'm glad that we have more people. I'm glad they had... Um... Yeah, like more people on our servers. I don't think they're that. Man. I don't, like no one's bad. Like we've we welcome anyone over here. Yeah, T was getting. He really didn't like him, so she started trying. Oh my god, I found my house. What they even do? I, I haven't well, seen. Well, I haven't actually read what's been going on. There was some on. context actually. Like they randomly like, DM'd her and her friend, um, her Russian friend, and it was just. And they DM'd me too. So they just kind of like they got a little weird out by them, so they started trolling them. I don't think they um, understood it. Yeah, where did they come from? I don't know. I know the one girl came from when I was Milo did his first ever like Twitch stream of a Star Wars game, and he was, you know, just fucking around there, and and I just got this random like invite from somebody. And I was like, oh, I'll accept her invite. Then she was the first one to join the server. I was like, oh, you know, today. And I was like, oh, there's that person again. Oh, I didn't see that Zoom bombing. But yeah, I didn't see that shit. And that was... You watched <laughs> the first few, like, like watch the first minute to get a taste of what I'm talking about. Yeah, we got put on. Put on there, big boy. Mm, I'm going to make some paper. So what have y'all been? Uh, so what have y'all been watching? Nothing so far since the quarantine. I wish, <laughs> I wish I could be watching more stuff, but I've been sleeping in a bit as long as I can before class and doing work all afternoon. And I mean, I watch a little bit of news, or if my I, the only thing I've actually seen was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, because that just like started airing. But other than that, I haven't really seen anything yet because I haven't had that much time, unfortunately. Let's see what else I can make here. I got my chest. 
Anything? Did you did you, did you did you did did any of you see the uh, Tiger Tiger King or whatever? I know Alex was watching that. I didn't check it out yet. Yeah, that's crazy. It's just like it's one of those crazy things. Like you can't believe that it's actually a fucking reality. Like I can't believe that that shit actually happened. Like was it was he? Did he live in America? Yeah. Hell yeah, he did. He, he he's a fucking tiger farmer or whatever, a tiger dealer. Like that that he I mean he he turned, like it was just weird. It's like a like a Joe Dirt looking motherfucker. Like mm -hmm. uh, and and he like like gay redneck tiger tiger dealer mm -hmm. and like. Oh, I'd have to go and watch Rest of Slayer, man. That shit was funny. Who, who, um, who, um, like tried to murder for hire? Uh, some this. Don't, this, don't spoil the whole thing for Sean. You know, <laughs> but I mean, you can read about. It. Really, you can read about. I know, it, but it, yeah, it you have to just go and happened. see how fucking nutty it is. No, everything. No, there's plenty of nutty shit outside of the main storyline. Like everybody. Like, like, like the main storyline is common information. The other, all the other stuff that there's a lot of, there's still a lot of hair, like weird shit that will definitely intrigue you during the series. Mm. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Yeah. Along that way, along the, the, the way to where they get there, there's just a whole lot of shit that you're just like, what the fuck? And how long is this? It's like, it's a mini. It's a it's a series, I guess. So it's like it's like five. I think what five, five minute or minute episodes yeah, or something. Yeah, something like that. I was. You said five forty minute episodes. You yeah, stop yeah. along those lines. Okay. So, yeah. yeah, I think I'll I'll try and find time for Dude, it. You have to find some. You got time, man. I've seen what times you stay up to. You got time for it. Yeah, yeah. those have been bad decisions staying up that late. Yeah, no. Um, I feel I unmotivated to do anything anymore. It's kind of yeah, weird. Yeah. <clears throat> Oof. Well, that's kind of like that's kind of how how I felt after after school. Like when, yeah. once I was done with school, I was just like, ah, screw it. Cause, I mean, it's weird for me because school feels done, but it doesn't at the same time mm -hmm. because I still have to do schoolwork, but I don't have to go to school and I can't go mm -hmm. to school mm -hmm. and there's still some stuff I want to do at school. So I'm like in such a weird stage. It just feels all you know wrong. It's like, uh just can this be over? <laughs> can we go back to normal? Uh, bah, 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 bah. And also, I like streaming our game at night, so and our doing our show, so it's like that takes up some time. So I think maybe the best time I could actually squeeze something like that in is after our streams. I watch something. That's where I can do. Yeah, yeah man. You... I don't know, we need to go and find something to go and spice this up over here a little bit. I agree. I was trying to bring... That's why I was hoping the Zoom rating would do, spice it up a bit. We could talk about that. Well, I mean, you know, it's all good. Well, it's all well and good to do news. We need to go and fucking make some news. Or we need to go and <laughs> generate fucking news. content. Do a fucking Zoom read on here. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't understand the legalities around all that because apparently the FBI released something about that. I think only if you put like porn or like a death threat, then you kind of could get in trouble. But I don't. If you're putting a link out there, there's nothing. Well, you can't saying... put porn. I don't think you can put porn. Yeah, like if you put porn, you're risking. You're risking stuff. If you put 
things that could be illegal, you know, don't do that. But I think if you're just trolling them. Well, but here's the thing is, it's it's just putting a link out there that you're welcoming anybody to click on. You really can't, I don't see how you could get anyone in trouble for going into a link that even you, if you were in there for different intentions, it was open for everyone. Because honestly, if you want to get views now, you do a fucking Zoom bombing. Yeah, like it's, like I don't think it's illegal per se. I just, you know, if you just join it, I don't think that's illegal. Like if someone gives you the password, like if someone gives you the password to a fucking like website, you know, I don't really think that's illegal. Like if, if you steal the password, I think that's, you know, a little bit different. And most of these aren't even password protected. Yeah. And maybe that's something we could, you know, want something to spice up. We could think of funny things you could do in a Zoom bombing. I don't know, you know, curse, yell yeah. obscenities, show your penis. <laughs> what are you, Anthony Weiner? Well, that seems like the fucking funniest ones <laughs> I've seen so far. Oh my god, somebody should do that. Say they're Anthony Weiner when they join it. Because you can change yeah. your name. Or well, like, say that they're like Zoom, so, like admin or something. Yeah. Say so they're like, and then like say, okay, there, there's a vi like, have you ever seen that like the tech support scams, like the Twitch, it was like the Twitch tech support scam, <laughs> and they go and join these like, it was like a little kid, and they said they're like Twitch uh, tech support, and then they got the kid to go and put a fucking like laptop into the microwave, and then like put in water and like brick their, and they got them to brick their fucking PS4. <laughs> And then I think you'd see the person's like parent, like dad or something come in and he's like, what the fuck are you doing, son? <laughs> oh my god, how gall were people. Man, so like funny. it was a little kid that he was like eight or something, he was like having a fucking Twitch stream. God, don't give like, your kids There's Twitch. tons of those fucking videos. Like you had to go and look that up, fucking like Twitch technical support trolling. Twitch but... tech support. <laughs> like Twitch support. Yeah. Uh, Twitchy. I wonder if we should try streaming these to Twitch and see what happens. Yeah, I don't know. Furious tech support scammer opens my nudes folder. Mm. Twitch streamer cooks a lot. Yep, here's stuff. Thank you for the link to that. Yep, this is the one. Fuck, I fell down here. <laughs> Oh my god, I think I'll look at this one later or something, but man, this one's fucking hilarious. Hold on. I'm putting in the memes chat. Yeah, I like that one fucking thing I put on there, and it was like how libertarians see themselves, and it's like fucking that dude from Parks and Rec, Ron Swanson. And then you see actual libertarians as Joe Exotic. <laughs> dude, I, uh, yeah, I was actually, when I saw that, I laughed pretty hard. I'm like, I need to steal his meme and post it on my Facebook, because I want, I want to trigger all the libertarians I know with that, because they know it's fucking true. I don't think about libertarians. They, they're so... They have such a high self um, image of themselves. You know, they, 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 you talk about sniffing your own farts. It's fucking libertarians. They think they're so sophisticated. Yeah, well, I need to adjust the thermostat real quick. Mm. Getting too warm in there for you? Yeah, it's getting too cold. Mm. It's chilly up here. We better Hold spice on. it up. I'm seeing some. I'm seeing some other things here. The Washington Post, which is a shit newspaper uh, or news outlet, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I could care Toilet less. Toilet paper company. Yeah. Yeah. A, 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 a uh, de facto toilet paper company. Anyway, they're saying, don't blame China for the coronavirus. Blame the Chinese Communist Party. No fucking shit. Like, no. I, I'm like, 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 if you can't decipher that when somebody says China, they're meaning the Chinese Communist Party, 
obviously they're not saying the Chinese people. They're saying the fucking government, right? That's like that's taking it way too literally. These people. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like it's like oh, it's like oh, Americans are corrupt. No, no, not that's not that's not saying oh, every, American people are corrupt. No, he's saying you know, corp corporate CEOs and politicians and shit. Okay, mm -hmm. like clearly, clearly there's you know. You, you know what we mean stop like oh what do you mean what do you mean you're you're being all uh you're being racist and homophobic and sexist and all that shit like no you're gaslighting look you, you, yeah stop the fucking gaslighting okay and i don't know i love how they always invent new terms too like when you do something they don't like and they 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 the racist sexist xenophobic labels get old so they do things like oh you're just tone deaf <laughs> you're gaslighting you're um uh what was the well, something policing tone policing i fucking hate that one alex are you back <laughs> uh oh i thought that's alex for a second mm-hmm I was going to tell him, so he's, he'll love it. He'll get a kick out of something I learned about T's class today. Do, 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 do. Let's chop some wet wood. Dun, 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 dun. How do I, I need to figure out how to get the fucking cobblestone now that I don't have a, any more left. Uh, how am I going to get that? Oh, wait, I could just make the wooden pickaxe. Uh, let's see, I need more wood. Wood, wood, wood. Let's chop down some trees. Bernie. Bernie. He was saying that, like... Uh, let's see, hold on. I guess, I guess Bernie... Bernie was on Fox News or whatever. Oh, I'm pretty wow. sure this is. He's. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this is like a last ditch effort, right? I'm just like I'm trying to reach out to Fox News to try to grab something, anything, fucking anything, because I think I think he's on his last fucking legs of life. But it's like. Uh, I'm trying to mute he, like I guess I guess Brett Bear was asking him like. If you had to, would you close down the borders, like with this whole with this whole uh, um, outbreak or whatever? And he said no. He's like, I, I mean, what you don't want. He's like, I mean, what you don't want to do right now. We have a president who has propagated a xenophobic, anti-immigrant sentiment from before he was elected like like he's oh just my God. spreading all this bullshit right and, and literally that that travel ban it saved lives yeah like, people, lives were saved by that decision right dude they're it's now like, complaining he didn't shut off other countries that's literally what the left is complaining about now yeah. some of them like jim acosta the other day so they, they've gone full 180 on it's racist to oh you weren't racist enough you weren't yeah. racist to Europe, which you should have been. Yeah. Well, it's just, it's, it's 180ing it because they realize that it, like, like he made the right decision. So now it's like, oh, it's, 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 it's Trump hate. It's like it, but they, they have to flip flop because he's making the right decisions. And this is what, this is what we're talking about. Like, look, look, it's like when, when he shut down, when he shut down travel from China, they were like, "Oh, don't do that. That's racist. Whatever." You're the, uh, and then, and then when they realized, "Oh, this shit was coming from China, and that was actually the right decision." And then every other country was following suit with their travel bans to China. Then it was like, "Oh, you didn't do it quick enough." It's mm -hmm. like you, you had, like you, they're having to play this anti-Trump narrative, but they have to be careful with it because it's working. He's, he's, his decisions are actually the correct decisions. All right, 
All right, I'm back. Did you have fun molesting your mic there? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, Bernie Sanders, we are just talking about Bernie. Isn't it me, or does he seem like the fucking type of guy that would be on some sort of old people's medication ad? You know? Mm-hmm. Buy this uh, Alka-Seltzer. It's good for you. Can't do a good impression. I think we need to go and have a full-on fucking video about that Mac versus PC stuff. <laughs> it's still... You, you it's still like, fucking think call, your, that. call your doctor and see if Cialis is right for you. <laughs> I was actually trying to think of the name of that thing. I couldn't remember. It was fucking Cialis. I haven't seen one of their ads in ages. What happened to them? I miss I think those. everyone knows about Cialis yeah. by now. Who needs to know? I mean, Everybody you get a knows- fucking... Everyone knows well, about no, Coca Cola, but Coca Cola no, no, no. it's, it's because it's because that patent is gone. Like the Viagra and Cialis, like those oh. patents are those patents have already expired. So now, like you you're you're seeing that you can get the cheap shit, you can get cheap shit off the internet, which like the which which basically you're getting it from China because China's already reverse engineered the medication. Chinese giving, Cialis, yeah. how racist is that? <laughs> Yeah. Well, no, that's what that's what happens. Other than these other countries, like once the patent's gone, these other countries now have this. The, I like you know they can build cheap, mass sell it. They can reverse engineer it and mass sell it at a discount. You can't do that shit when it's still patented because you know you could get sued. But uh, yeah, so so nobody would touch it. But now, now that the patent's gone, it's like well, fuck. Well, we Bernie Sanders, he can just off the ad by saying, you know, you know, I, I, I don't want to make just the government big. I want to make you big. <laughs> Bye, Cialis. When the moment is right, will you be ready? <laughs> well, obviously, he wasn't fucking ready for this election. It's not <laughs> enough I'd buy shit from him. Yeah, he doesn't know when his time is coming. Well, you're... You are buying. If he if he wins the election, you're going to be buying oh, a whole lot of shit from him. He ain't going to be buying. <laughs> Dude, he fucking ain't winning. Oh, yeah, like, and his poor game sucks. Like he should drop out by now. Yeah. Why? No, why? What There's no be chance this? in hell of winning. He's like. <laughs> he's like. He's he's like that. He's like that person that's been swimming for way too long in the deep end, and now he's drowning. Right? He's just. He's right on the cusp of drowning. And he thinks right? he can still and make he's it. Just like, and, he, and he's just flailing his arms trying to stay above water. That's where Ber- that's what Bernie Sanders is doing right now. Well, I think he might actually be hoping for like Biden to fuck up more. To the point well, where did, they're going to get to do anything else at that he point. He did fuck up recently. He just said he, uh, he just uh, miscounted how many grandchildren he had, which is fantastic see i'm I mean, telling for you him, it's fucking for dementia. him that's nothing for, well, for Biden, i'd understand if nothing. mitt romney miscount how many children he had because you know he's a yeah, mormon like, that's a big that's a big fucking utah family but uh yeah but like fucking uh biden i mean he's just you know i mean it's a goof up i get it but like he just has so many goof ups it's unbelievable and these are the same people that criticize Trump all the time for like, oh, Trump said 7-Eleven instead of 9-Eleven. Ooh. It was not even just goof up too. Like he was like threatening people, like getting up in their face, like insulting, like <laughs> ostensibly like Democrats. Yeah, he insults like, the voters. Yeah, like that's not that Trump, you know, I've never seen him do that. Yeah. I remember when like voters. during the election when Ted Cruz like made said something about New York voters well you know Ted Cruz is probably right that you know New York's you know it's done fucking thing and I wouldn't really count on it for Republican votes anytime but you know you don't say that if you're a politician yeah you never you never go and attack the voters like Hillary Clinton did that that was I think one of the things that probably sealed her fucking campaign it was her baskets full of women moment yeah, yeah. It's a poor it, I, there, was, there was, I was seeing. Mm-hmm. Uh, there, there was a little clip on, like, I guess they had him on. Uh, they had uh, Joe Biden on Jimmy Kimmel. Well, not on Jimmy Kimmel, but he was like, "Oh God." Yeah, and he was like, "Do, do, do you think, uh, do you think Donald Trump's gonna want to debate you?" Like, 
in what fucking world would he not want to debate you right now? <laughs> in what fucking world? Mm. Like he's like Donald Trump is licking his chops at the sight of going. He's like, please. I'm thinking he's going. He's at church praying. Please let me get in a debate stage with this man. Please. You know, I think Joe Biden's thinking the same thing because he literally said today that he would uh call up he's going to call trump to help him with the coronavirus he's so what? anxious to already get into you know a face-to-face -face, um uh setting with trump is he's prepping he's debate prepping i i can't like it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fucking bloodbath it's gonna be it's gonna be so horrible it might be the like, only thing that's a bigger bloodbath than the cr election Oh my God. It's just so <laughs> terrible. It is so fucking terrible. Like how do you, it, yeah. Like, like just what kind of delusion is this guy on or what kind of, so, so I'm, I'm having to, I'm having to, you know, come up. I, I'm, I'm trying to, to see why this guy is saying the shit that he is. And it's like, is he delusional or is he taking drugs that's making him delusional um or is his brain just not fucking working like i think I, he's I, just you know he's, he's, just, he's old. just old he has is it, issues mentally or is yeah. it really bad attempt at reverse psychology like <laughs> oh like it's like <laughs> yeah oh maybe if i say i want to take it maybe he'll get, just get you know, maybe maybe he'll just back off me. Like, no, the, clearly you haven't gotten to know Trump in the last three years that he's been in office. This dude does not back down from a fucking challenge, right? He relishes. This is a guy, unlike any politician I think we've ever seen. Like, this is a guy who not only doesn't back down from a challenge, he embraces. He's looking for shit. Like, he's just... Yeah, I, 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 I think in a couple of instances he's probably making up shit just to go after people. Like he, he's the second, the second he gets on that debate stage. I, 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 I'll, I'll even ask this: At what point, when he steps on that stage, when when Joe Biden steps on that stage, is he going to realize how fucked he is? Or is it, or, or is it, as it, is it, is he already thinking? It's going to be when Trump gives him the Chad shake, when he just walks up there and Trump just grabs his hand, pulls <laughs> it, and he's like, fuck. <laughs> at one point, the lights are shining, people are looking at you, the whole world's looking at you, and you got your, you probably got your, you probably got your teleprompter, right, trying to read you, you've got your scripted questions. You've got your teleprompter. You, you, you. All you gotta do is read the fucking teleprompter. But the problem is, none of that shit's gonna matter when Donald Trump is on the other end of that freaking stage. Because the second, I mean, really, he's gonna, he's gonna try to answer a question or he's gonna try to respond, and it's gonna be like a and and Donald Trump, he's gonna. He's going to throw a fucking curveball and it's just going to, it's just going to go downhill from there. It, it, it's over at that point. The first time he throws it, the, the first time he goes, you know, off script, it's over. It's fucking over. Yeah, I agree. I feel like, you know, he's going to, he's going to think he's hot shit. And he's going to be one of those people too. I feel that like he'll be doing it so wrong, but he's going to be thinking that he's one of <laughs> Well, Joe like Biden. He's one of those people who are confident in their like shittiness. Joe Biden. Their ineptitude. Also, one of those people that when he gets all excited and gets all sort of quote unquote confident, he fucks up. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've you've seen it. We've all seen it. He just gets all excited and then he just acts stupid. I'm just. I I couldn't. I. I I even I had to even like like I've I've 
I was looking at some of the 2016 debates. Oh my god, they're fucking just to, yeah, just to just to mentally prepare myself for what's coming. Like, and and it's like, and even even like I know Clinton was very non like monotone, wasn't like wasn't quick on her responses and now you're putting him up against a slower responder who's got memory issues and trump has all this xp now as president he's got all this stuff in his head now he can just whip it out i mean i don't know i think it it, it's gonna be rough it's gonna be rough for 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 biden and 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 they're writing i don't even think He's not even going to need to bring up any of the Hunter Biden shit. Like he's that he's not going to even need to do that. I I just there's enough there. Oh my god. It's going to be a bloodbath. I mean, it's like some of this and 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 a lot of this a lot of the stuff that he's talking about doing is a lot of the shit that Donald Trump is literally already fucking doing. Like what what do, do, are you not watching television or maybe you watch like like this this is i believe that Do, that joe biden like okay i think he might be watching cnn or watching whatever whatever the mainstream networks are he's seeing what donald trump is doing and he's like you know what that's a great idea. I should be doing that if I get president. Like, no, <laughs> literally, he's already doing it, right? <laughs> like, if you want to be president, you're going to have to come up with something different. Like, I don't know, I, I, you're I, the Democratic I, candidate, right? Clearly, you're not going to want to do, like, a, like you're not going to win an election by doing shit that somebody else is already doing. You have a feeling that he's going to end up getting... You know, fa- like he, he might end up just passing away from coronavirus, honestly. And then if that, ha- like, fucking Biden, just because he's already in such poor condition. Like, if Trump got coronavirus, I feel like he could go and like come out better than ever. He's got good genes. Like, well, yeah. he's, you know, he's like, look at him physically. Look at Biden yeah. physically. Like, yeah. the, the Biden of Obama's years is long gone. And that one wasn't even that hot either. Yeah, but like. You know, you could go and see there was a, a market difference. Like he was, he wasn't uh, nearly as like brain dead as he is now. He's like, just he was Uncle like, Joe, though. It's it's nothing, man. What are you talking well, yeah. about? I, I just can't believe, like, you know, you're, you know, you have relatives who are Democrats. What do they say about Biden? They do they see any issues like potentially that he might have. Alzheimer's or dementia? Well, I mean, I'll tell you this. First of all, there are no Biden supporters. There are only Biden voters. The difference being, it's kind of like this um, CR guy we've been talking about. Even if they vote for them, they really don't support them. They're not enthusiastic. They're not going to go out there and campaign. They're not going to really, you know... It's not really their choice. They just vote for it, him because he's not Trump. And from some of the liberal relatives I've talked to, a little bit about or heard of what they say about him, they kind of deny his um, mental shortcomings, for lack of a better term. They, they just ignore it. They don't address it. Or they'll say, like, I just, like, oh, that's just Uncle Joe, or oh, that's just this. They, they they just ignore it. I mean, that's the thing is these lefties, you know, when the, when somebody points out to the right a problem with Trump or a problem with somebody, they will, to their disadvantage in a debate, start acknowledging it or start going, well, maybe you have a point there. These leftists don't think that way. They just go, nope, I'm right, you're wrong, period. Nope, can't even think about that. I'm not even going to consider it. It's just a one-track mindset. It's never changed. You could have, I mean, with Bernies, when you see some of them kind of go, yeah, I'm not not really ready for the burn yet. But even then, it's... These people are very, very monolithic and very... uh, 
trying to think of a good word. So like, I, I, I don't want to use the word cult because it's overused, but it does give me cult vibes where they just will not, whoa, fucking creeper. They will not actually break out of their sort of religious mindset. Like this liberalism is a religion to them. This leftism is just a religion in their minds and they blindly follow without questioning it. That's kind of how I put it. Like they, Biden, they'll blindly follow him without questioning him. And then they go around accusing Trump supporters. Like, oh, all you do is follow Trump and do whatever he says. I'm like, I trust the guy. I'm not a blind supporter. You know, it's, they don't get it. Yeah, you wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it, man. Honestly, like, no, and it's not, it's one. not like, yeah. And, and, and a lot of the, I know a lot of the, 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 the news outlets that we listen to, they're critical of Trump at times, you know, there, and there's some things that, you know, Trump does that are kind of, you know, they're kind of iffy, you know, and they call, and they call, you know, Fox News will call them out on it. The day like Ben Shapiro will sometimes. Well, ben, Shapiro is... ben Shapiro. Like, I can't not, stand not that. that yeah. I, I, yeah. I scratch that. I don't like him either. But, <laughs> well, I'll actually, when you um, mentioned Fox News, I want to quickly say that even today at the press briefing, uh, John Roberts from Fox News and Trump had a little back and forth because mm -hmm. Trump was saying that he was peddling a false story. I didn't hear what story he was mentioning, mm -hmm. but Trump was even calling out Fox News. Like Trump doesn't care about those mm -hmm. things. People think he's like, oh, he just loves Fox and he's just going to blindly, you know, agree with Fox and everything. No, he doesn't. He legit didn't today. Mm -hmm. It was that yeah. other one, like the one, was it Pisobiac? Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, those ones. See, they're. I, I just really wish that we had, like, I had access to that fucking channel because yeah. they seem like they go, like, they're like a better version of Fox News. Like, mm -hmm. not even Fox News. They're really their own fucking mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. And they actually have reporters that give a shit. And it's a legitimate, like, it's a legitimate, like, it's what I view. To me, OAN feels like how it used to be. Like how news used to be, where it was just objective. It was just it, it felt like objective reporting on on what's going on, like on what's going on in D.C. or whatever. E even though, even though you know, hey, like like some of these people are like, oh, it's pro Trump or whatever, and and a lot of it, is, and a lot of it is kind of pro Trump, but it's very like if you if you watch it, if you watch the network, it's very like it's the, uh, most of it is really objective. Like it's really objective. They, they say is. what's going on. They say what's going on. They give the details and then that's it. And then they move on to the next thing. It's not like a, it's not like, a, it doesn't really give me the feel of like, a, uh, like, like most of these other news outlets, like the mainstream media, it's like, Oh, there's a current events thing happening. Let's talk about it for like a fucking like two minutes or something like two to five minutes like no i don't i don't i don't give a shit okay i don't give a shit what your opinion is give me what's going on and move the hell on i i, I and, and then if you're going to q a somebody then that's one thing right like i know they q and a'd i know jack Posobiec q and a'd my milo yiannopoulos on the on his book or whatever and but um and that's great but i mean it's like, don't, I don't know. I, I, I just, I just, I'm sick of the, of the, uh, they bring up a, bring up a new subject and then they have like three fucking pundits talking about it. Like, I don't give a shit what any of you think. Okay. Let's move on. Um, outside of the, I, I mean, I mean there, and there's shows like the five, I guess, or whatever that are like, Okay, but I'm kind of even now shit too. Now I like, like the five because they actually give you a bunch of different perspectives. Like you'll get yeah. Waters, who's your typical conservative. You'll get Dana Perino, who's more objective, more middle road, and then you'll get Juan, who's left wing <laughs> and, and also goofy. But and then you get Greg Gutfeld, who's kind of funny. And you'll get the other girl. I, I forget who it is because they keep swapping new people in. Yeah. That's, you know, I guess another right. It used wing to be voice. Kimberly Guilfoyle. Now it's like a rotational. Yeah. 
So I do like that sort of setting. I wish there was there were more shows like that on other networks, but you know, that's kinda the only Fox shows I kinda kind the only Fox shows I really like, honestly, are the five, Brett Bear and Laura Ingram a little bit. But even Fox, I think there's something that people forget is that they are in many ways not they're not as conservative as the left makes you want them to th- to think that they are. They don't let Milo on their shows. They don't let Ann Coulter on their oh. shows. They don't let Michelle Malkin. They have a blacklist. Michelle Malkin and Ann Coulter are on that blacklist. And mm-hmm. I think Gavin McGinnis is too and Milo. Gavin got fired from Fox because he was a bit too edgy, a bit too, mm-hmm. you know, too much for them. And Fox is PC. If there's a good way i'd put it is that they are pc they act like they aren't but they are Mm. they're very pc because it's a corporation it's big and they have big name advertisers and they're worried about their image and yada 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 whereas people online don't care about that because that's how they build their audiences is by not being beholden to advertisers by being authentic and that is the strength of the internet but it's also its weakness because then it's fucking hard to sustain these things. Like, you know, when you're edgy and controversial, you get banned on everything. And how are you going to spread your shit? I mean, it's, you know, it's a problem we talked about a million times because nobody's doing anything about it. And Fox yeah. definitely doesn't want to do anything about it because they're PC, they're in line, they're not dangerous. Yeah. I, I just, I feel like... I, I don't know. It, it, it's like the idea of, well, for, I always felt like the terrestrial, <laughs> I, I like to call it the main or the mainstream, like the terrestrial, terrestrial news too. Mm. Cause it's like, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, yeah, I, I, I just don't, there's not, I don't know. I, I just don't think there's that it, it's a, I, I don't want to say I I, I want to say that it's not a sustainable business model, but most of these most of these news companies are just subsidiary of like a bigger conglomerate. Like, mm-hmm. so it's not I, I I don't know I I don't know if they're even gaining money off of these off of this like off of these channels or whatever. Well, sure they like, are. It's just one of the I well I mean they're. They're gaining revenue, but I'm not sure it's like the majority. I, I don't know if it's like a money making street. Clearly, like like with MSNBC and CNN, there's a Democrat slash China narrative that they're like like there's a there's a there's a narrative that they're trying to push, and if they have to lose money to push that narrative, then they're willing to lose money to push that narrative. Whereas you know, I don't know. It's like China like Fox News Nation. Network. Like Fox Nation. I'm I'm sorry. There's no way that that that's making money for them. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't think that's making money for them. Um. I think what makes them got- their money is their advertisers because when O'Reilly was going okay. down, they were going after his advertisers. When they were mm-hmm. trying to take out Tucker, they went after his advertisers. Why do they keep doing that? It's because they mm-hmm. know when you boycott advertisers, that's hitting the money. That's where it works. Mm-hmm. That's what Cernovich talked about when he was uh, on our show. you got to go after advertisers if you want to actually win and take people down, if that's yeah. your end goal. And, yeah. yeah, Fox Nation, I don't see how that makes any money. Yeah. You know, it's... No, I, I, don't, I don't think so either. And, and it's like... I, I just especially when you have like if I if I'm gonna if I'm gonna pay that kind of money I'm gonna pay for something like you know like the Anthony Cumio show or the Blaze TV or something like that. Yes, yeah, there's you wrote there's a that. list of things or censored TV. There's other things that I would purchase, and I actually had purchased all of them. But anyway, <laughs> like <laughs> if That's I was good. like I can't say if I was to because I already do, but like. Um, but yeah, like I, the, like those are the kind of, like, if I'm going to spend money on that, I'm going to spend money on like talent. Like, look, Steven Crowder, like, look, Steven Crowder's 
like say what you want like you know like it's like oh they're they're he's just says a bunch of childish jokes i'm like well he's that one a lot of stuff he says is really funny and two um it's not all like childish like there's a lot of good stuff that that he he does like he that, that he said like he reports on he reports on the news and he's like like is there's a lot of you know and he'll cite his sources and he you did know, the antifa and, video where yeah. he uncover he exposed antifa and for giving weapons i mean he has done yeah. some good work honestly yeah yeah and so and, and and not only that outside of all the other like you know late night talk shows or whatever like he's legitimately funner funnier that more funny than all of them like i i don't like seth myers i don't think he's i don't think he's really that funny i don't think jimmy kimmel's really all that funny i don't think jimmy uh kimmel pisses me off like i'm not like yeah it's there's you feel like there's this like there's this po they're 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 giving up humor and they and they and these are people that have writers they they have like oh, a yeah. shitload of writers they're writing all their shit they're getting paid an insane amount of money and it's like well it's like i don't i don't even you know what i don't even know if late night tv is really a a, a positive a, a good business model for them too in fact i'm not sure like the outside of the like like the news media or whatever or late night I think it's just like a. I, I'm not sure that that's a sustainable model because it's like, 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 like they would be sustainable without help, but from the conglomerate, right? I'm not sure that it would, like, if you left it all on its own, that it would even. Because, it's it's I I don't know it's just like, because there's better just because there's better alternatives out there. Mm -hmm. Well, I think also the thing – Crowder's in an interesting position too. This is why I have sort of, I could say, mixed support for him because on the one hand, he is very uh, somewhat careful. I don't know how to place it. He's not too edgy, but he also does push things a little bit sometimes, and he does have some – interesting people on but he he doesn't have people like milo on any at all i don't know why he's never had him on he doesn't have people like um uh, well no actually he did have alex jones on I mean, you see this is where he doesn't make sense like he has some uh edgy people some controversial people on but then he ha doesn't have others and the one thing i have learned is that crowder is somewhat safe from YouTube taking him down because of his lawyer, which n most YouTubers do not have that. And mm -hmm. Milo has talked about this, and a few others I've seen uh, have talked about how Crowder's in a oh. very interesting position because of that. And I think Crowder should be taking more advantage of that. Yeah. I think he sometimes does when he brings Alex Jones on, but he needs to bring all these band people. Like, I don't see him bringing Laura Loomer on. I don't see him bringing Milo on. I don't see him bringing... A lot of these other people on that he should be bringing on, uh, especially when they do good work and valuable things. I mean, that's where my issue with him is, and I don't know if it's a personal thing, but you know, and I understand why he doesn't bring, let's say, Owen Benjamin on anymore because Owen Benjamin's crazy and was a potential liability for him because he was bringing on this uh, stolen valor guy on and associating him with Crowder. So, like, I get those things, but I don't get all the things Crowder does, and that's what kind of annoys me. But you know he mean? is in a good position. I think it would be good for the overall right wing if he took advantage of that more. Yeah, I I, I think, like, like Stephen Crowder uh, repeated the – basically repeated the model of, like, a, like the Anthony Cumia – like or or it was a compound media now they call themselves mm -hmm. yeah that's like uh um like he i, I i'm telling you like for me and, and 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 i don't i don't think he'll ever get the credit that he really deserves what he did like what he did with anthony kumit like with compound media 
he was the first to do that shit. Like what, what Ben Shapiro and all of these, all these other guys were doing. He's the first to do it. Like hmm. to, to bring on a platform that like you could watch or whatever. And then you just like pay a, pay a specific like subscription fee or whatever to get like that particular service, just so you don't have to be beholden to advertising. Like, you could kind of pick and choose your advertising or whatever if you decide to do it and like like that is like like he's to me anthony kumi is like the pioneer of all of it like and even joe rogan even joe rogan rogan gave anthony he's like this whole thing you started it all like you he, he credited anthony kumia and I, I I mean I and I like it and he, and he's even he's still fun like Anthony Cumia he's like a like Stephen Crowder like really funny really quick funny like you you could you you look at what he does and what what he what he says and it's like really funny it's really quick it's like I feel I feel like some of the jokes I say you know how so sometimes I'll say some of those jokes that are kind of quick mm-hmm. they're kind of quick quick button right. It's like, like, like we were at, we were at the sheets, right? Like, like, like for instance, like, yeah, we were at the sheet, we were at sheets and I, I looked at the New York times. It's like, Oh, see, look, they have toilet paper right there, <laughs> yeah. right there. It was like, 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 I, I don't know. I like whatever funny is in me. I credit like Anthony Cumia. Yeah, or, I always love when I have those moments too, where you just just it comes naturally, just have a good joke yeah. quickly, and it's it's for me, I know what helps me is the environment I'm in. If I'm yeah. in a very stimulating environment, a funny environment with fun people, that's where it comes out more. Uh, I don't know. It could go either way. I don't know. For me, it just could go either way. It has got to be like the right time. Yeah, you need a setup. Like if you're that gonna go, you're too. gonna come up with a quick joke, you need a setup for it. The what do you think, Alex? Oh shit! Yeah, I'm sorry. I had to go and grab my coffee. Oh, yeah, what's been late that? night coffee? Fee. Yeah, I, I got my coffee too. So. Hey man, I'm you know I do my work shit too. Uh huh. Yeah. No, I it's it's yeah. Um, I get what it. Were you, what were you guys uh, talking about? Porn. Oh, well, no, I was looking up uh, that one American news network. Like, yeah, they seem really, they seem really good. Like, you know, the fact that NBC, like fucking Comcast, NBC isn't taking probably shows you that they fear them. You know, there's mm-hmm. a reason they're not touching it. But the guy seems really cool. And like, honestly, Phil, you seem like you'd probably like their other channel too, because they have like a boxing one or something. I know you're into sports. Oh, they do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like AWE, AWE or something like the a- same. AW, is that the? Are you talking about the pro wrestling shit? Yeah, they have some. They like the same people who make that channel have another. Um, like they have a boxing or like it's not boxing, but they have boxing on there. Mm. I forget the name of that channel. I think it was AWE. Mm. Are you saying the people that do O O O A N? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. That's That's interesting. interesting. I do. I I I really I like Liz Wheeler too. Like her her tipping point is like is is fantastic for me. I I love like she's incredible. I I I, I like I like her and Chanel um Chanel Rion. I. I I, I think they're they're just act like they they're really good like they're really good at like and and again with that like like because I'm into that old school biz like model of reporting and they really do it well they really really do it well um oh yeah Oh yeah, it is. It is boxing. Yeah, it is boxing. I'm not really much of a boxing fan, though. I I have to. Um, I mean, I, like I. 
only there's only rare occasions where I'll see a boxing match, and that's like you're talking about like big boxing matches, like the like Wilder and Fury, like that was like I'd see I like if uh, Pacquiao and Mayweather go at it again, I'd probably see that. But I'm not like really, I don't know. It's just it's just not to me. It's just, it's just not as um. I don't know. It's just not as entertaining for me anymore. Even U even UFC is kind of like worn off on me. Like I used to be, I used to be pretty big on UFC, and it's kind of worn off on me too. Like it's it's starting to become, it's starting to become way too regulated. You know, like there's, you know, there's just certain hits you can't do, and certain like I'm like, well, is it really fighting or is it like I don't know. It, it feels it feels it's starting to feel cheap and it's like so it's like i don't know it, it, it's it's a different like i'm like obviously i i i'm into violence like i that, that's <laughs> what I, basically what i'm trying to say so you sure you, you really well, want to admit that on this show <laughs> well here's yeah. here's the thing well, that no, i mean of... like People well, no, are into violent, like people. Like if yeah, I, I watch, if I if I watch UFC, I want to watch two people beating the shit out of each other, right? <laughs> well, that's no, what. You, that's what. It, yeah. You still watch fucking football, then, don't they? Like, I'm not much of a fucking sports I, fan, I, but I'm don't not, they do the same thing with like you can't do this, you can't do that? No, look, and I'm not, and I don't watch football as much as I used to either. Like Sunday was like a huge day for me, and now it's like, well, I mean, I. I could watch it or maybe the red, I mean the red zone channel I might watch because it's like all the scoring plays, like it, 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 it plays all the scoring plays, but I really don't give a shit about watching like an actual game anymore. Cause I hate, I hate seeing the penalties and the, you know, like the instant replay is fucking annoying. Mm. Like, I, just, I think, well, I think, you know, it's, I, I, <laughs> I, I hate the stupid I, I penalties, like unsportsmanship, like yeah. conduct. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do. I, I hate that shit, and, uh, and, and it like kills a game. So I don't like watching a game. Well, like, I think I, if someone I'll, does that, you know, you just give them a fucking fine. Like it shouldn't affect the actual outcome of the game. You just give them a fucking fine or something yeah. if you're gonna punish them, which well, I think it's. it's well, I mean, it's it's more like like I know the NFL did it just because of liability. Mm. Just like they they want yeah, because they had they had to make like like they had to settle this big fucking lawsuit that they had with, um, where and they had to shell out like a billion dollars. What? Uh, I, yeah, they had shelled out billion. I think it's a billion dollars a year to to play like like to players that are like alumni players, like past players. To make sure that they get like the treatment they need for like, you know, CTE and shit. What's CTE? Uh, it's the head, the head, or the concussion. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I feel like you should, if you have like that, like if you're getting paid a million dollars, like that's a fucking risk. Like you have dudes like climbing on fucking highline poles out there who get paid like. Not even close to what like they get paid in a fucking year. I, what I think might... I always felt like you should be th like 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 I always felt like the NFL should tax their players as far as or or not even that or not not even the tax but like like a a piece of the pie should go to you know that sort of thing like the, the like um uh, you know a disability sector like if you're if you're you know, if you have CTE, then there should be like a disability kind of thing with that. Because like, I, I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and say that CTE is not a real thing. It is definitely fucking real. But, you know, I don't think that like it's not. It's just not right that I, I have to like I was I was reading a study that a family of for a family of four to go to an NFL game it would cost them $1200. Ugh. 
And that's not even good seats, is it? That's t that's ticket. That's, well, that's, average. that's your fucking that's your coronavirus fucking care package right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, but but it's like, you know, and and it's like I'm I'm paying a shitload of money just not just for the ticket but for the parking, the concessions. Um, like if I'm trying to get something from else or memorabilia or something like that, um, all of that. Like it's just it's fucking insane. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. It some of these venues are really nice, but like, but that's but it's like, like you you, if you're gonna charge that much, right? You gotta. I don't know. It. it it's like there's so much, and, and it's and it's obviously a big biz. Like, look, they they pull in. I want to say they pull in eleven plus billion in revenue, but like, I just. Oh, I see. That's why I like baseball, you know, more than fucking baseball football. Is fucking worse. Baseball well, it, well, it's it's cheap. It's it's at least fucking affordable to go to a fucking game. Well, that depends. We'll see. We'll see. Um, you know, like a fucking pirates game. Like, who the fuck wants to see the pirates? Hey, like, well, I don't know. I mean, I'm not much. Of, well, that's another thing too. You know, I'm not that big of a fucking like sports fan, but I like to be able to go out there and see yeah. people play a so fucking you're not, game. You you don't really keep up too much with baseball, but the the pirates are shit like oh, pirate, <laughs> yeah no i i knew that like i yeah. i could tell that like i think the orioles like I, they used to be decent back when kyle ripkin was in there i know so he was big when i because i used to be from maryland but like late i think like the last two seasons they've been like right like tying with the fucking pirates for who's in like yeah. shit place i mean a lot of it is i mean a lot of it is also is like the venue too the venue too and and you get a lot of and there's a like like over the last 10 years there's a reason why so many so many new stadiums are getting built all over the fucking country because they're trying to get those premier seats at the the premium seating where they can really charge an arm and a leg um that's why that's why Penn State's re remodeling um Beaver Stadium oh they are shit sure. yeah they're they're i think they're going to I want to say they're 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 spending about a hundred million dollars to Ugh. renovate that. Yeah, they want to get look. You got you got to get those premium seats where you're pulling in some serious fucking cheddar. Yeah, but like, let's be real. People like are gonna go to a Penn State game no matter what. You know, That's why they're doing it. That's exactly why they're doing it. They know they're not gonna come into these games. That's why. They're like, look, if I if I'm gonna build, if I'm gonna get some premium seats built in this thing why the oh fuck not? i see yeah i see what you mean now that just annoys me because that's fucking tuition money <laughs> gang well used. no they have their no they have their own fucking pot oh like uh... they, oh yeah they make so much fucking money like they pay for the whole athletic program hmm yeah it's, the only th well, they used to pay for all the gyms too and that's why you said to can pay for it but well, kind of so they used to. Okay, it's gotten. Okay, so it it's went. It's actually started to go the other way now. Of course. Now the school is starting to kind of pay their. Pay their share. Um, it's hard. Yeah, and because uh, it's really competitive. Like they, this was back when when Joe Paterno was still there. I think they were only paying Joe Paterno. Say six seven hundred thousand a year which mm. for for a college coach is fucking peanuts right um for a division one college coach that is fucking peanuts when you especially when you compare like like they're paying coach franklin like somewhere around six million a year right this is it's a different vibe um and you know and so like you're you're talking to you're talking about a lot of the uh, there's a lot of stuff that they're kind of a lot of it is boosters too a lot of it's boosters like these uh, these um uh, these alumni and past people that just want it like that give back to the school or whatever well it's not just that it's like how much merchandise and shit can you get like do you, like go fucking downtown state college and you can go and see how much they jack up the fucking Penn State like football merchandise over there. Like you don't have to be at Penn State to see that. Mm -hmm. They're worse than Mo Logan Paul of merch. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, but like I mean, they make a shit ton of money off of that. Oh, the, I'm not saying that they don't pull in revenue. I think 
but it's like they're trying yeah they're definitely trying they're trying to milk this shit for what it's worth and like there's no lie there's money to be made in a stadium like there's definitely money to be made in the stadium although i although there i i could i mean i could challenge that logic like placement placement matters too you know like you know if okay so like one of the first like one of the first stadiums to to do to to do that sort of thing is Jer- Jer- Jerry Jones with the Cowboys stadium mm. like they spent i want to say they spent like 1.6 billion dollars on that stadium and like like it it grew in the first year it grossed like 450 million in revenue so it's like you're getting it like you're you're getting money right out of the gate right and but that's dallas like that's arlington texas there's a lot there's a lot that goes on out there um my question is well what the fuck is going on in central pennsylvania yeah fucking nothing except penn Penn state State. well yeah but but they're so fucking big they can bring shit in there yeah but that's not that that's not enough to keep keep venues churning money like another stadium would like a like some of these pro and even college stadiums work like you know you got you know the la coliseum where ucla and usc play but they also you know you also have concerts and stuff like that right you know because it's and because it's in like la there's always something going on in la there's always a need for some for a venue going on in la so like you know there's there's that like you and but but like with central pennsylvania nobody's gonna like you're going out of your way to go to central pennsylvania or or you're like like even the people that go to concerts like the like even the bands that go to concerts in central pennsylvania they're doing it on their way to another city like they're like oh let's do this show do you want to make a couple coins okay before like new york or something like that oh okay we'll we'll go there well, and also, if you notice, a lot of the big concerts, I mean, probably all of them, I should say, they're at the BJC during school times. Right, And right. even the Eisenhower Auditorium on campus, I mean, they get some Broadway productions like the Book of Mormon and other mm-hmm. stuff, but that only happens during the school time because they know it's when right. everybody's there. I mean, when right. you, I mean, there are people there in the summer, and look, Eisenhower fills... Uh, 2,500 people. It's it's still a you know it makes some money for sure, but yeah. you know compared to these massive stadiums, yeah, but you're talking yeah, you're thou- like tens of thousands. Yeah, during the school year, during the school year, okay, so during the school year at Penn State at its highest, like when it, when you have the 45,000 students, and you have the you know, so that with the people you're already living there, you're talking about maybe maybe 80,000 people, maybe 100,000 people. Maybe like like it's not it's not that big of a venue. Like you if you're going you're going to you know you know like LA, mul- mul- millions of people, Philly, millions of people. Um you know, you New York, millions of people, right? There's a lot of people there like if a big name goes out at one of those places, mm you're more likely to sell that place out than you would be, you know, at any other thing. Mm-hmm. Like, and I, I mean, foot, so football, yeah, football, you're always going to like, like regardless, regardless, you're always going to sell out football games at Penn state. Cause it's like, it's, it's a cultural thing. It's too big of a, it's too big of a following out there. Unless um, they would get like a huge influx of international students, like unless the population of international well, they students... already have. I mean, that no, it's like ten percent. Yeah, but but I mean that's like, but that's like one of the more um, internationally endowed programs, right? That that, that like, I, I mean. I would assume, but, but I mean, that's not going to, but, but even then that's not going to like, you can't, you have to make the, 
the, the campus bigger. Like it's already packed. Like that, that school's already packed pretty, pretty much to the brim. Yeah. Like you're, you're going to have to build out. Like if you're going to try to make it work and yeah, you, I mean, you're, you're running off a limited, a limited people supply from a foot. I'm talking from a football or from a stadium venue standpoint. Like if you're going to, if you're going to operate a stadium from a business perspective, cause you know, you have to, you know, you have to pay for utilities and security and all that. There's a lot of costs that go into it, uh, to, to making a, a venue from, you know, a, a stadium venue. Uh, you need more people. You, you need more people to, to, to keep it up and run, like to, to keep it legitimately um, like with, with, you know, Beaver stadium, it's like, well, there's not, you know, there's not a, you, you know, they're, they're selling out they're like operating costs that high because they already own the, they already own the stadium out. Right. There's no real expenses that you're having to make on Beaver stadium. Grant you, you're not pulling in the revenue that you should, but you're also not you know, you're, you the, the operating costs aren't as high. So there's like a different, there's a dynamic that has to go in with it. Like if you're going to spend that kind of money, you have to make sure that you're maximizing that investment. And it's hard to justify ma trying to maximize that investment when you're only playing 13 games a year, 12 or not even, yeah, 12, 13 games a year. That's 12, 13 weeks a year. What are you doing for the other, you know, 40 plus weeks out of the year it's you know can you afford can you afford to shut that thing down when you're paying like look because like a hundred million dollars that's you know you're gonna have to fund that shit like you're gonna have to essentially borrow that shit and i actually made me think of something that some fake news somebody spread in the group me but it still made me think uh, mm -hmm. about it which was uh, the Penn State would cancel its fall football season or its this football season for next year. And I thought, I don't think first they of would all, that. that's pretty oh, that's... pretty uh, crazy to jump the gun on that. Second of all, if they did that, the money they would lose would be insane. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, like I agree, Alex. I don't think they would do that. If anything, they would at the most postpone it. Which, I mean, hopefully by then things will, you know, whatever shit's going to happen would already be done by then. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if we still have this quarantine shit until fall, like, there's going to be bigger fucking problems for me worrying about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I think we should be okay. Like, I, I still, I still believe we should be okay. I'm thinking, you know, there's going to be way there's, there's going to be ways we're going to be solved. I, I, I feel like even within the next two months, I think we're still, we're, we're, cause, cause I mean, of course, you know, there's going to be, you, you know, you, whatever we do, whether it's medic medicine, vaccine, whatever, there's going to be a little bit of time that's going to have to take to, for it to develop and mass produce or whatever. Um, but, but even then it's like, well, I don't, I feel like, the people that are gonna get it, like 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 there's gonna be enough of people to get it they're you know they're build up their immune system and like their immune systems will to like 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 with most you know most illnesses where it's like but i i yeah i don't i just don't i i i'm i'm still a little optimistic optimistic from that standpoint i'm not sure it's gonna be um I'm not sure it's going to be really long lasting. Like it's not going to be like till the fall or whatever. Like I think that's that's a little bit much. I think it'll definitely be at the earliest done by May and you know sometime in May. I think it's more likely going to be done in June or at least we're going to be coming on that lower lower end of the curve. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be a fun summer. It's it's gonna be probably the, not not the summer of love but the summer of fucking kung flu 
But uh, speaking of coronavirus news, I found out uh, two interesting things. So, PA, if you had a license to carry a firearm, uh oh, you that is going to be uh, an expired within, I think May. It would automatically be renewed. Or I think if it expired, like well, not it won't automatically be renewed, but you won't have to renew it. Wait, so they and, actually did something that was pro gun for once? Well, okay, let me read this. The expired honor after March 19th have been extended until May 30th. Yeah, so it's extended. And then kind of, so that was the good side. Now here's the bad side. Mm. Not U.S., though. Uh, so well, it is U.S. I was going to say. California City to use Chinese night vision drones banned by U.S. Army to enforce coronavirus lockdown. What the actual fuck? So they're going to use fucking drones to go and see if you're, you know, abiding by the coronavirus laws yeah and they're and this is a fucking them. police state over here <laughs> like that's yeah. that's fucked don't go to california do this like i'm telling you man this stuff is going to be like a practice run for you know martial law time i doubt martial law will happen well no not right now but i mean this is this could be what the future is like you know we live in this like fucking you know, super futuristic world where, like, the fucking government just can ban you from doing anything fun. Oh, no, I, I do believe that, actually. It's going to be kind of cyberpunky where they'll be able to have more power because they can use more technology. Well, yeah, but, like, who's, who knows, like, maybe after this, they'll be like, okay, you know, I like this, and then 10 years from now we see something that's, like... All right, well, we have a new weird virus, and uh, we have to go and force all you guys to uh, social distance forever. Well, see, like that's... some like 1984 shit. That's the thing, is that this virus, while we do have to do the social distancing, it does make our generation, millennials, uh, you know, Zoomers, everything it's prepping kind of... us. Yeah, exactly. It's prepping us. It's getting us used to this sort of thing. That if something were to happen again, we'd be like, oh, yeah, I remember when I did that a few years ago. Or maybe if something doesn't happen, they tell us something does happen. Mm. Yeah, there's that, too. Because once the government has that power, they can go and do it again. You know, let's say there's pro- like there's an anti-government protest or something. Mm-hmm. Boom, martial fucking law, and everyone's like, oh, you know, you can't do that. Oh, bitch, we already did. You know, it's already been approved. It's already on the books. I feel like that's what we could be seeing in the near future or maybe not so near but yeah it's interesting that like all this stuff like like this time they're making that fucking cyberpunk game soon yeah i can't wait for that game that i'll give you a glimpse of the future i don't mean you can be able to run that on your mac <laughs> so there, it looks like uh it's it looks like some of these some some of these mainstream media pundits if you want to fucking call them that as long as you're uh, not calling them reporters yeah no they're not reporters uh they're they're complaining about oan or whatever I, look brian stelter tweeted there are 100 plus media outlets in the united states with bigger audiences and better journalistic reputations <laughs> than oann but because the channel brought broadcast pro trump brought propaganda it's given pre- preferential treatment at the white house bitch cnn's okay, called so, on like so, multiple so times here's the, so, so hold on Let, let's let's dissect this one for a second though like we'll dissect this tweet because it's very misleading right 100 what well, okay so 100 plus media outlets so what what do you do what do you mean by a media outlet right what, what's a media outlet what's the definition of a fucking media outlet like you get like a hundred, a hundred plus. It's like, well, you know, you like, I think you're brought, I think you're kind of, you know, lowering your standards to include all those other people in there. I think that's, that's a little bit misleading. Okay. Um, let's see in the United States with bigger audiences. What the fuck. Right. If you're talking about bigger audiences. Yeah. It's like no, that's because that's because they're all tied. Like all these news outlets are tied to. We were just talking about this. They're tied to bigger corporations. 
Like they're tied to like the MSNBC is tied to Comcast. Uh, time uh, like CNN's tied to Time Warner, AT and T. You they're they're naturally by by being a part of the the cor- their corporate conglomerate they're naturally going to have bigger audiences just by fucking existence. Mm -hmm. Right. So, and better journalistic reputations. Where are you? Where are you basing your journalistic reputations from? Because that they reputation doesn't mean a whole fucking lot anymore. Okay. I'm sorry. It's like, like who's, who's judging this? this journalistic reputation that you speak of who exactly is doing this like oh journalistic reputation oh you talk about the liberal the liberal outlet that fucking gives them bullshit awards or something like that then yeah well didn't the uh what was it this white house uh press something uh they signed some sort of statement or something petitioning OAN to not be there. I forget what it was. Is that yeah. the thing? Did you find anything more on that? Uh, I did not. Um, yeah, look that up because I think that's where that article is getting you know all this from. There was something, and all these reporters were chiming in, trying to be virtuous. And yeah, when mm-hmm. CNN does it, so I like. I mean, come on, guys. Like, yeah. who are you fooling? You think? Oh, okay. You guys are gonna lecture us on credibility. Okay, that's that's cool. It's like, fucking. But it's like, oh, but because the channel pro broadcasts pro Trump propaganda. Oh, so so let me guess. So you're anti Trump propaganda. And that's fine. Good. Pro Trump propaganda. Bad. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Good. Good thing you cleared that shit up. And, and it's given and it's given preferential treatment at the White House. The fuck are you talking about? They're they're sitting in the like, like any time I ever look at a Trump, every time I ever look at a Trump press conference or whatever, or any White House press conference, uh, I see I see the OANN reporter sitting like in the back, and I see MSNBC and CNN. They're they're all sitting in like the front and shit. Yeah, who has? Who ultimately? Who the fuck has preferential treatment in this, in this thing? No, he he put OAN in, in there because look, at least they have a dog in the fucking fight now. Like, dude, if it were up to these assholes, they'd shut them out completely. Yeah, and when yeah. you watch the press conferences, who gets like the most questions? Is honestly, it's Fox and yeah. CNN. Yeah, and they and don't MSNBC. want Fox ban. They want or OAN NBC ban. News. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, Jack, in response to that, Jack Posobiec was like, OAN, OANN, a defamation case with an underage minor. Can CNN say the same? <laughs> that was funny. But yeah, I'm like, I, I just, it's, it's, it's what, what's really like, they're, they're, they're accusing them of this. Like, I'm like, well, like this is the kind of like misleading sh- shit that's like very i don't know i i'm like look so it's like a you know you have an anti-trump slash pro china china propaganda plate like look that's 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 who you are that's who you are brian stelter that's who you are and, and like you're calling people racist for calling it the Chinese virus. No, motherfucker, that's where it came from. That's exactly where the virus came. From. You're calling it like you see it. It's not. This doesn't make you racist. And 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 again, and again, for the upteenth fucking time, China, Chinese is not a race. Yeah, yeah, they have like ten major fucking racial categories in China. And they let like you know fucking- about. Oh, yeah, like, you know, like, even the Han Chinese, like, that was a fuck, like, if you go and look in the history, that's, like, a whole mix of, like, tribes and shit. And let's not fucking, and let's not, let's not kid ourselves, okay? They're fucking racist, too, okay? Like, these Chinese are fucking racist, too, right? Oh, yeah, I've seen a lot, like, from the students over here, like, they'll say stuff that no one else could fucking get away with. Mm Mm-hmm. I've seen, yeah, I've seen, and like, like everywhere else in the world, you they're like, oh, race, 
oh, it's only this race. The, the, nobody, nobody deals with the racist shit like the U.S. Like no one has the racist issue. Oh, really? Have you been outside the United States, mother? Um, I've seen. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen. So they had they the Spain in Spain. They had soccer games where where a fan threw a banana at a Brazilian player. Like what the fuck? Were they? Or they're like? I'm like. I'm like, dude. Like, that's not like. Well, you, see, the, the, see like. Yeah, like, I don't know. They just don't care because it's the U.S. and we have, I guess, a higher proportion of yeah. black people over here. And, you know, if, you, if you're like another country, well, they don't see it. It's out of sight, out of mind. I mean, now they're starting to go and see it, you know, like England and stuff. But, you yeah. know, for the most part, they haven't dealt with that. <laughs> yeah, they've uh... – well, they started – like they, and in England they started to like 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 England's fucked by the way I don't know where, like I feel I feel terrible for Boris Johnson and Nigel Farage man trying to clean up that fucking mess, mm. that fucking mess oh my god, the um. But yeah, it's like you, like like I've seen. I've seen a couple of uh, Premier League soccer games on television where they i guess a uh, fans are getting thrown out for like racial slurs or something like that and i'm like i mean you shouldn't say that stuff obviously but i'm like look it's like there's just i don't know i've i've always thought of england as places that it's like it was like super racist too but like i don't know i was just like it's it's hard for me to gauge that fucking situation because it's like what would you say is the most racist country in the world probably south africa i mean yeah i mean honestly look they're trying you got you got they're 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 killing white farmers out, out. Like i mean i probably put south africa and i think china would probably be a close number too i mean i can't really think of any like i mean you might have some other african countries like fucking rwanda where you know they'd have like intertribal things between like the hutus and the tutsis and that shit like that but in terms of like actual like countries that have some semblance of government you know probably no, definitely south africa would be number one then you'd probably have like china over there for number two then um after that i don't know probably like probably like a lot of asian countries honestly yeah because like the amount of shit that i've seen between the fucking races like just at penn state yeah. like inner inner asian conflict <laughs> like this like one china like chinese student was telling me like oh yeah like i like see i don't know how much of it's like actual like fucking hatred or how much of it's just like trolling you know like i don't think they have anything like the kkk over there obviously but like i, I just don't know like they're proud like i think racism is just more accepted in those countries it like is. they don't do it they don't have like the you know killing people but they like if you ever seen like in japan too would probably be up there because i've heard like horror stories from like black people who moved to japan and I mean, Phil, I think you've been at Japan, haven't you? Yeah. Like, so in no way am I saying. Uh oh. Did we lose yeah, the film? In, in, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I know. Something, something weird. Anyway, like, like I'm saying, I'm saying every, they, they, they talk about. The, 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 these people in this country that some of these people in this country they're talking about oh we're so oppressed and I'm like look you realize you're the envy of the world right you understand that there are laws in place here that 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 protect you like like really they 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 protect you like like you know like white 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 person kills black person it's a hate crime 
more often than not, it's freaking hate crime, right? And the punishments are usually greater, right? I don't know. I don't know where else that happens in the world, right? Maybe England. I don't even know if that. I don't even honestly know if that's the case. Like I, I just I. It 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 bothers me that people just have people just have no perspective. They have no fucking perspective at all. It's like it's like and I, and I see a lot of these people, you know, and and we used to see it like with sociology, uh, uh, you know, your favorite subject, my favorite fucking subject ever. Like, I'm sorry, I, to in my opinion, there's not a more useless, useless fucking major. It, I don't know, like I don't know. There's some really fucking like underwater basket weaving and shit like that. Yeah, you just heard like mainstream. No, I'm saying like yeah, like that gender studies. I don't know what the fuck they're doing there. Um, well, see, at least with medieval studies, there's probably some ob- objective shit in there. <laughs> I'm sure there is. It's the like only they probably good do real things, like you know, versus fucking sociology, which is complete. Like the whole, it doesn't make any sense why it exists. Like you can't even prove anything wrong. I don't know if I'd call their LARPing real, but hey. you know, that's the closest thing. Hey, well, hey, it's no, very... but they have like historical shit. Hey, having a having a degree in medieval studies is a great career path for Cutco. Okay, <laughs> it's a great great career in selling knives. It'll get you places. Yeah, or coffee. Huh? Yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. Is I'm he... sure they can have a good conversation with the fucking host at Starbucks. Like for your fucking customers, like, oh yeah, you know, I, I got this fucking, you know, great sword from um, Bob's. Yeah, I bought this fucking great great sword off of fucking uh, Amazon, man. You go and take your sword out, or like, oh yeah, you know, this coffee, this was discovered by Christopher <laughs> Johannes in fucking Saudi Arabia in like 1412. But you didn't know that. <laughs> But what did yeah, they no, learn in medieval studies? Like, what what did they actually do? I I actually knew another guy who had you know who, you know I, I knew a person when I was in fencing, oh. and um he uh he definitely did some stuff with uh, like he was a medieval studies major and he did like a hundred page term paper on like chickens in the medieval era. <laughs> It was about like fucking chickens, like a fucking term paper about like how medieval people like, I guess, husbandry and like, all, like just a fucking thesis on fucking chickens. Yeah, that's exactly what the world needs. That, that's going to get open up lots of careers. Well, yeah, maybe if you want to work at a fucking museum, like honestly, I think that's like museum and I've I've interned for a fucking museum before when I was like in high school. Let me tell you, that's probably one of the most, like, boring. Shout out to some of the people. Like, no, it's not really boring. It's more depressing. Like, there's a lot of really interesting shit, but, like, you do this, like, his, like, fucking history doesn't really change. Like, you know, if you're studying the 1700s, like, you might be able to unearth something or there might be a new way to interpret something, but you're not act like, nothing really new happens. Like, you would think over here. You gotta be the history then. You gotta be the man of change. Yeah, like, like I actually enjoyed my time there, but I couldn't imagine like because they don't make that much money. Like mm-hmm. unless you're like working in like London or something, mm-hmm. like at some sort of like major like government funded facility, like you're probably not gonna make that much. Yeah. Or you're working as a professor, and even then, you know, you probably aren't gonna be making too much unless you're like the number one person about this aspect of medieval society, and you might be able to make something then. But you know. Like if you're like that gun, guns, germs, and steel guy, you, you know that's how you make money, like that's by writing one books. Dude, yeah, wasn't he like a professor? He just sounds yeah, like a professor. Probably, I think he was. I I saw that book before. I mean, I never actually read it, but uh, I remember I heard about that in my like geography class, which that's another fucking stupid degree. Ge- oh yeah, that's right. That is a degree. I almost forgot. Who the fuck would get a degree in geography? I knew someone who didn't like you like there's some interesting stuff you can do but it's hard like I don't think that the guy works in the geography field right now I think he works in like some state government I feel bad for him like I enjoy like human geography and like there's a lot of interesting stuff but I just don't really think it's as in demand as like there's probably more people taking degrees and then can receive useful jobs in it Mm mm-hmm like I think you can do some political stuff 
like you work with parties to go and figure out like who to you know like voter turnout in these specific areas and like do some gerrymandering shit and like you know work with maybe some gps stuff but that's you know not that many jobs i don't think like yeah, i don't know honestly someone should go and look that up you notice how all these people that get stupid majors tend to go into politics or something with power something with status because they can't fucking do anything with their major and they realize it's nothing much to flex yeah because we know multiple people now that do that sort of shit they're like oh i got this degree i'm not so smart no you're not get make a better fucking decision oh, okay i'll get into this position here I'll show you what i'm really made of okay you have fun with that big boy. Yeah, it's like I, I, I and that's another that's another thing. Like politically speaking, mm-hmm. I hate when I hate when they say, "Oh, well, Democrats, Democrats have the majority of the people that have uh, degrees, right?" Oh yeah, I hate that shit. I hate that shit. I'm like, well, what the fuck is the deg- degree in? Yeah. First off, what's the degree in? Because it, I, I, like, if you're talking about like a sociology degree, I'm sorry, your mm-hmm. fucking degree, your degree doesn't count. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I, I maybe somebody hears this and they hate it, but fuck them. Anyway, um, I'm like, and, and I, I, not on top of that, I will, I would take a somebody who owns a small business uh i would take his input over somebody with a fucking you know degree in gender studies or some shit like dude your fucking opinion's worthless man give me give me somebody give me somebody who like owns a business has employees and fucking contributes to the overall economy okay give me give me that person give me somebody that's right? done something useful yeah give, give me somebody that's done something positive for for the economy or whatever or something for the good of the cut co- for the honest good of the country yeah i just feel like college too it's just one of those weird times where it's like you know you have all these people of different degrees and they all think of themselves like it's fucking equal with their bullshit degrees. So, mm. yeah. Well, some people think they're better, but then yeah, you get that sort of those people that think it. Yeah, all degrees are the same. Mm. It is annoying because it's the, the, some degrees are better than others. It's just it's just a fact. I'm sorry. Yeah, and they'll think that there will be some like hot shot with some like bullshit degree with no real entryway yeah. into the fucking job market well yeah that's the other thing i was just gonna mention is that you know all the people that have that brag about their degrees or flex them or they're always compensating but the people that have like mm-hmm. engineering degrees are like oh what's your de- what, what are you majoring in engineering and they kind of say like you know with a frown on their face because they they know it's a lot of work but they do it because it you know they're good enough at it and it pays well but they're like yeah engineering don't remind me how much my life doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it's tough. You know that that major is. Um, I had my roommate. He was like a computer science, which uh, feels you know like if you actually take real computer science, that's probably closer to engineering than like IST at Penn State. Yeah. Like he, I mean, the shit that he would do is tough. I mean, he always had time to do whatever else he wanted to. He's a smart guy, but he. He was a cool. He did some interesting things. Mm-hmm. You know, like we'd always like drink and party and shit. But I don't know how he's able to do one. Yeah, I was. I felt like it's like clearly, if you think that the the government should pay for your fucking degree, if you feel like the government should be paying for your degree, you're an idiot. I'm sorry. That's yeah, like. like the only time I could see there being like if the government should pay for your degrees if you're gonna be like, you know, doing something that actually like be beneficial to fucking society. Mm-hmm. And that's and you know there would be a service con- like like with the fucking army or yeah. something or like, like military. And, and how do we not fit? Like if you're gonna fix anything, you need to fix the fucking the the 
the middle and high schools. Like those are the things you really need to find if you're going to fix something, right? Those are what you're going to fix, not pump fucking millions of dollars into an already fucking price gouging college conglomerate industrial complex. Fucking trillion dollar. No, fix, fix the, fix the, you know, fix what's, what's fucked up. Cause you know, you got fucking, you got female teachers, fucking students. You got male students fucking. Well, you got these teachers that don't even know how to fucking secure of like use a fucking secure meeting platform or use it fucking <laughs> yeah. properly. Like yeah. it's fucking public education folks. You know, yeah. they're not the brightest. Yeah. Dude, I think honestly when people talk about oh my god teachers are so important i'm like do you realize how easy it is to be a fucking teacher you well, could... good ones if you're good yeah like if you suck ass it's not that hard anybody can suck ass at their job like no exactly to be a good and i'll be fair look if you're to be a good teacher it's legit it, it's hard work I, I, I will definitely there's definitely a concession there um but no, you have a lot of shit teachers that are just like, eh, you know. Well, it seems whatever. like, and I don't know, maybe there's not a lot of good of, I mean, I mean, as, I, yeah, what am I saying? It's the case of all jobs. There's not a lot of good of X, Y, and Z in a lot of industries, but good teachers especially are hard to come by. And when yeah. you do have one, they are the best but yeah no i i man i fucking agree but the problem is you know you get these like when i was in high school the people who were like don't like jumping into teaching for the most part they weren't necessarily the ones that should be teaching right. like they were the right. ones who were like especially girls like especially like high school and elementary school like they were all you know kind of middling average intelligence probably a little bit on the lower side honestly i think teaching it's weird because on the one hand, I tend to like my male teachers more and I mostly have male teachers uh, recently, but I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think there's something to be said about that. Like yeah, I had no, a that, coworker that, that, of mine. But who I went think to at the same time, I think. School. Well, what I was going to say is to counter what I was just going to say, though, is I think you would think based on studies and science and biology that women would actually be better teachers well they tr well there's different like i think men and women learn differently mm -hmm. and well, i think male teachers probably teach more to, to how they would learn and a female teacher does more and that's why like you go and see especially like in high schools like the social studies teachers for the most part were female with the exception mm of like a couple like on the higher end and you'd see a lot of females go into like the sort of social studies and like english like classes and then the males the male teachers tend to go and focus in on like the math and the um uh, like physics departments and those were pretty much like all male so i think they're like you know at least maybe that's how they're doing it like it it's harder for you know some of like some of the guys to go and learn these like you know, like they teach that and it kind of creates this sort of self-fulfilling prophecy. And that's why I do kind of like the idea that, you know, there should at least be some all-male schools. I feel like that has certain benefits to it. Like if you have like an all-male faculty at an all-male school, you won't have to worry about like basically, you know, teaching a different personality types because especially with public schools, they just don't seem to be able to do that properly. I would... I think they should exist, but I would never send my kid to one. You know, it's one of those things I don't really see the benefit, but maybe somebody sees well, it. That's fine. Well, no, there there is a benefit to it. What is it? Less distraction. <laughs> well, you're not That's looking at benefit uh, number one. You're not looking but at the girls in class like, ooh, hey, they're pretty lady. Yeah, honestly, I, that was, like, a huge problem in, like, my high school. Like, we'd have people have sex in the bathroom sometimes. What the or, like, fuck? in the stairwell. What the fuck? And, like, I don't know. It, like, and it, you would have the teachers who were more dedicated to the gender-specific, like, male-specific uh, learning. Because, I mean, there's already, like, there's a decent bit of all-female schools still left. It's just the all-males that are pretty much 
mostly gone, but I mean, my friend went to one of them and he had a pretty good experience there. Wait, how were kids having sex in the stairwells, you said? Yeah. Yeah, like behind the stairwell. No, that just didn't happen at my school. <laughs> I mean, you know, it wasn't happening every day, but it happened. We had like, I think the only time I saw somebody having sex was like outside during a fucking like when we were doing track. We were running around. Oh my around. god, I had the same fucking thing happen to me <laughs> when I was on the track team. Yeah, we were running around that we saw like these, this guy and girl like on the top of a hill by some trees. They were close together. And my, <laughs> my fucking coach like went up to them. I was like, dude, you got balls going up to that. I wouldn't go near that. I let them do their thing. But I'm like, do you geniuses think this is the right place to fucking do something like that? Yeah, like, I mean, it's obviously happened lots of, like, a similar event happened at mine. Like, we had this one dude who I found out later apparently has a three-inch penis. You know, he Literally. was... Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, it, that's another story. That's a... But, um... <laughs> that's quite yeah, the no... observation. Yeah. That's quite the observation, Alex. Did you measure it and stuff? Yeah. You how do you know it was three inches? No, like, uh, I forget how I found out. Like, like he ended up knocking wow. someone up, and, you know. Right. So, I mean, did she talk? get knocked up? Is that, yeah. is that the case? Huh? No, I, did, I didn't huh? watch that. No, I don't know. I mean, there was multiple girls who confirmed this. Oh, so he's, he had oh. multiple partners. Damn, playa. Yeah. Oh he, was, he was something else. I think he may have Chad. ran into a school, like, a school bus or two. Like, <laughs> he like yeah. I don't know. You'd have to ask uh, who's it? Uh, the phrase at 420. He uh, knows more about that guy. Uh, yeah. What the fuck is wrong with your school? You have the most messed well, up Well, this school. wasn't during school. This was after school. Like, this oh, was after that where he knocked up the girl and big difference. You know, and knocked on the school bus. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. So, like, I remember one time we were on track and we were uh, running around. The, I guess it was either the element. Yeah, I think it was the elementary school playground because we were running around because we had, like, all three of the schools of the one district let's because like the elementary schools were all separate but the middle and high school were in the same uh campus and then they also had a elementary school on that campus and we we're running around there and like after school so it'd been like an hour you know an hour and a half after school and then we go and see them in the uh it was like a covered slide and they were you know doing the deed in there oh they're doing the slide that's just stupid <laughs> the fucking elementary school slide <laughs> Those kids, yeah. bunch of the kids can. They're like, oh my god, you guys play. We're yeah. just playing hide and seek. Don't, don't, you know, it's don't look at us. And well, apparently, like we had this really awesome, like one of the few, like really, really good teachers I had was this like English teacher back in elementary school. And this dude, he uh, was telling us like about this previous class. Apparently, they were so bad that like they shot one of the like students with an arrow. What the fuck? Like we, like we used to have archery. Like this was, I guess this was must have been before my time like a good portion before my time like probably like a decade before my time so you're probably talking like sometime in the 90s or maybe even like late 80s and like yeah they shot some kid like in with an arrow like an elementary schooler <laughs> with an arrow like they were dicking around then like what was it they brought like bolt like uh you know cartridges to the school and they put on the teacher's desk and they um what was it? This is back when Blockbuster Hollywood video one, like back when video rentals were a lot more prevalent. And they like, the teacher's like, okay, you know, we've, I see there's a lot of tension over here. We're going to go and watch a movie today. And then they go and like call up like the night before, like fucking the, the video rental store and say that someone stole his like fucking uh, like Blockbuster card or whatever. And if someone comes in there with the Blockbuster card to call the police. <laughs> And, uh, well, the, the person knew the, you know, the teacher, you know, personally. So they were like, yeah, so that didn't work out. And he got all fucking pissed <laughs> the next day. But yeah. What the actual fuck is wrong with your school? The amount well, was of years like, crazy stories that happened at your school is insane. My school is so boring compared to we yours. We probably just didn't know where to ask. Like, every school has some interesting things. Yeah, but where would I mean... get around? Like, they'd be like, oh my god, did you hear that so-and-so did such-and-such? Oh my well, god. Well, that wasn't even my class. You know, that was previous classes. Like, we had one guy fucking... I think I told you about this, like, off-air before. 
where they trolled the school by uh, like they were building this big fucking mil- like million dollar football field. Oh, this which, is a good one. Which, by the way, our football team like it's always been pretty shit. Like even before the field, after the field. So I don't know why the fuck they dumped million dollars of taxpayer money in here. But you know, it's a fucking school. But anyways, so they're in the middle of like building this thing, and then for a senior prank, they planted the state tree in the middle of the fucking field. <laughs> so they had to get like it ended up delaying it by several like I think it was either several weeks or like a couple months because they had to get permits to go and take down the tree. <laughs> that's just so genius. Oh my god. Like that's probably like the most creative senior prank I've ever seen. Dude, that's, or, that's... I-, I didn't see that when I heard about like my fucking class. They just print out like a bunch of these like porn pictures of like fat ladies and like put it around the one uh, hallway well these years did something interesting i don't even know what mine fucking did i i remember the one year somebody like dumped a bunch of paper or bouncy balls in the hallway or something like that <laughs> just, nothing like happened i mean at least you had a fucking senior prank that was like really good i have i, don't yeah, know I wasn't I no that wasn't good previous years like they've released like they put dead uh, raccoons in the uh sink the one or not the sink the uh, water fountain one time then um it wasn't really a senior prank when i was in middle school i had a couple friends of mine and they went around and uh, purchased like sink like we were going to i think washington dc for like the naval academy to go and look at them or no it wasn't dc it was uh annapolis and we were out there, and they purchased these stink bombs and started throwing it at people, and they got caught. Mm. And then they saved some of the stink bombs. And then during the like the last dance of like eighth grade, they brought it out. It was the only fucking dance I think I went to Aww. during my uh, middle school years. And they just started like spraying it in the middle of the fucking dance floor and like throwing it at people. And it, like people just started like fleeing from there. And man, that was pretty <laughs> funny. I went we had to... another dude. Oh. I was going to say, the only thing I went to was senior prom. I didn't go to any of the dances. I thought they were stupid. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was pretty shit, but that was pretty funny. Then we had this one guy shit in the sink. What the fuck? And it was, I don't know, like, this was pretty clutch, because, like, this clutch. this fucking door. <laughs> like, this bathroom, they the teachers removed the door from it, because I guess people were, like, smoking in there or something. This was a middle school. They were doing something bad in there, so they had to take off the door. So he ended up shitting in the sink in the one bathroom without a fucking door on it. And like this guy, I mean, it was a big, like it filled up the whole sink. So he was like taking like multiple laxatives throughout the day. <laughs> just went in there, took a dump. And because there was no door in it, it just spread throughout the fucking hallway. Oh, God. <laughs> the teacher found out about this. And this was one of the same perpetrators who was involved with um, like the stink bombs. So, you know, he has a history with, like, stinky shit. <laughs> Did you guys and, call him stinky? Uh, no, we didn't. I forget. I don't want to go and spread uh, that stuff, <laughs> what what we called him. But, um, <laughs> yeah, after that, he, the, the, vice, the vice principal ended up, because he was the guy in charge of, like, disciplining students. He made a deal where if you go and, like, go through class and you uh, don't have any more incidents throughout the year, I'll give you a copy of like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Damn. And sure enough, he did and he got the fucking game. <laughs> and then a year or two later, that vice principal got caught banging a uh, a student in high school. Jesus Ooh. Christ. Yeah, and there's some just a few of the funnier shit that happened. No, no, I mean... There's there's stories I'm sure out there, but yet to know who to ask. Like all high schools have stories. I mean, we're pretty we're pretty relaxed when I was there. Like I, I heard years later they end up like having to go and put around uh, like cameras in the school. Jesus, because people are doing like cameras. drug deals like in the hallway or something. What the fuck? Your school is so fucked good. up compared to mine. Well, we never had an incident where anyone like brought a gun in or anything oh, like that. Fuck, just... Yeah, you just had teachers banging students, drug deals in the hallways. <laughs> well, yeah, everyone like fucking smoked weed in you know in the school. Like it was pretty common. Dude, I mean, you had like people that, doing Mark. dip. We had people dipping everywhere and like spitting in the toilets. Ew! Like it was all the time. Like I used to think people had the shits, and I was like, oh, that's what that was. Mm. I didn't. I'm not gonna lie. I'm such a fucking innocent kid from my area. I didn't know what weed smelled like till I got to college. 
Yeah, I mean, they usually didn't smoke it in school. I mean, that's the one kid ended up getting the the stinky kid got expelled for <laughs> for like smuggling weed in his like shoes to bring to school. Wow, but what a um, genius. Hopefully. yeah. Obviously, you know, not the brightest kid, but it was a pretty funny story. I mean, another kid, like, I mean, it wasn't a gun, but he was, like, brandishing, like, a knife at a football game. And he got, like, expelled for that. Which I don't even know why he'd go and waste on our fucking football team. It's not even that good. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's just a bunch of funny stories out there. You know, when we had the, um, there's another funny one with the teacher. It wasn't really funny. It's actually kind of sad. Like we had the uh, driving instructor who, you know, he passed away not too long ago and he ended up like, I think he was like, cur like he ended up like cursing at kids and he ended up like getting expelled because he like, I think punched a kid or something. Like, yeah, I think he was getting dementia because he would like tell people to go and like go in the stop, like the red lights and stop signs. He was a little bit. He was something else. I never actually took driver's ed in high school. So. Wait, your your school had a driver's ed? Yeah. We never had that. No, well, that's. I thought the schools were like required to have one of those. Uh, not, I never knew of one. I didn't know anyone in one. Yeah, no, we had one. I just never took it because I'd rather take like other classes. Mm. We had one of the teacher. One of our teachers who I never really cared for was like running at the Boston Marathon when that whole thing went down, but he oh, he won. Like, he passed the finish line before any of that shit happened. Good. Now, that that teacher was a douchebag, though. But, you know, not not that much of a douchebag. Hmm. I'm a weird for one. most of my teachers. Most of my teachers were just, ugh, just boring. No fun, no interesting, no smarts, just... Oh, you're going to learn this in my app. Oh, we had some pretty good ones. Uh, like, we had some good ones. We had some bad ones. We had some, like, funny ones. Good, the bad, and the funny. Yeah, we had, um... What was this one? Like, we had this one uh, substitute named Mr. Seaman. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you had fun with him. Yeah, like, it was pretty funny. Like, the first... Like, he was actually a really good guy, though. And, like, he had a... Uh, I guess he was born without a nose. What the fuck? So he had like a, uh, yeah, he had like one of those fake noses on there, but he was probably one of the better substitutes. His name is Mr. Seam and he's born without a nose. Yeah, that's was really like, I bet he was popular in high school. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to him, but like, what did his face even look like? I don't know. I have, I have no idea. Like, I just I know that he had a, him. well, no, 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 no. He had his fake nose on. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, but he like he can like push it all the way in. He'd show us, and it was like cool. <laughs> that sounds so stupid, but I, I'm just imagining his fake nose is like those um, you know those like nose with glasses and mustache things. Was just yeah, I'm no, imagining. it was actually really realistic. I didn't know it was a fake nose until mm -hmm. until I uh, found out. We had the, like in our athletic director had like a glass eye. Oh shit. There was a girl at Penn State I saw when we were asking some questions on the last day uh, before we departed that place. One of the people working for the school had a glass eye. It was like hell fucking distracting. Yeah, he, you know, just wouldn't move. He had to kind of get used to that stuff. But, um, you read that? Um, yeah, I told you about that principal or vice principal. With the sexy nice time. Principal. Yo, I just got a bucket of lava in Minecraft. I know how I did that. Yeah, you can do some fun stuff with that. Let me get my water back. I'm trying to see if I pour it on the source. I should get obsidian. Whoa, all the lava's now water. That's crazy. I don't think I got... Oh, fuck. Now the water's on me. Oh, no. Ah, I'm going down a waterfall. I don't think I got any obsidian. Whatever that shit's called. Don't you have to, like, mine it? It's... I, this, it was Phil was telling me about this yesterday, and I googled it. You have to pour water on the tippy top of the lava, 
And you'll get it, but I didn't get any. Yeah, you can mine it too. You just have to find a a place where like uh lava meets water and usually it's like right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shit, I might be able to even make that myself. You, know. you could break it yourself, it's just, you know, it's a pain in the ass trying to get the the blocks required to no, what I mean is I could like find some lava, pour some water, and then have it meet, and then boom. I'm gonna probably close out for tonight, so let's get back to my home. As it's getting dark in the Minecraft world and getting dark in the oh. real world. I mean, it's already dark. It's like what? It's getting oh. darker. It's like two o'clock in the morning here. That's early for me. Dark is our world. Yeah. Our world is dark. Dark is the world. Hello. Don't die, Sean. I finally made an iron pickaxe. Finally got some iron. I made those other iron thingies with the forge. With the foundry. Remember when we used to do foundries, Alex? Yeah, we're gonna do those again. Now that we have fucking time, you just have to... See, do the fucking Mac one. <laughs> you really want to do that one. Something to t fucking talk about. I heard that, like, YouTube was demonetizing, or, like, negatively impacting videos that say coronavirus in them. Yeah, I've heard that. I stopped putting fuck? it in our titles and actually didn't make any difference. But that's well, just us. We're small. Why do they care about the fucking term coronavirus? It's a good question, honestly. I, I don't quite get that logic. Because, I mean, it's not calling it the fucking Wu flu or Kung flu or whatever. It's not even like... Did it's they ever racist. bring out a fucking reason why they're caring? I don't... I, mm, I don't think so. I don't know. I'd have to Google that one. All right, finally back in the home. Controvers, take me home. Dude, see. that just reminds me of that fucking Fallout seventy six game, man. That see, that's a game. Like, I don't know how that even got released. What do you mean? Fallout 76. Like, have you have you heard anything about what's been going on with that? I mean, I have, but I don't know, like, what, you know, why you would say that you're surprised. Be, the amount of, like, glitches and shit that were released on day oh. one, like, how unplayable it was. Yeah. And then, like, the amount of, like, just fucking bullshit that you had to deal with from the uh, Bethesda or Zenimax or the fuck made that game the like where they were trying to go and scrounge so much money they sent people like a fake fucking like they ordered a canvas bag and then it comes and it's like made out of shit I've heard of this yeah there was it's so like many. everything they fucking do like I don't know how you can have a bigger fuck up than that yeah I've heard many people say it's probably one of the most fucked up game launches ever yeah, like, I don't know, like, and apparently people still play it. Or was it actually a good game, like, despite everything? No, no, like, it was, like, literally, like, I saw this, like, compilation, like, it was literally fucking borderline unplayable. Really? Yeah. I accidentally poured water in my house, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> Can't you just go and take it up from the source? I don't think so. It just <laughs> it just made like a fucking waterfall. <laughs> oh wait, oh yeah, it you did can fix find it. The source. Oh shit, yeah, you were right. God, it was that was crazy for a moment. That was crazy. All right, let's put our water in there. Let's put our meat in there. All right, let's go sleepy sleep in Minecraft. All right. Uh, well, do you guys have any other last few things before we close out for tonight? Uh, no, no. Take it easy, folks.
All right, later, Gators. Mm. Yeah, it's it's been another late night. <sighs> Real news quarantine. I hope the five listeners out there and the one viewer enjoy it. And oh I shit, we actually have five listeners. Oh, I have no clue. I'm just I'm guessing that one person actually takes the time to watch it and then everybody else just kind of listens to it in the background by accident. Oh god. <laughs> I come onto the home page of YouTube and it says Good Doctor Star, I'm playing an autistic character. Breaking down stereotypes. Didn't you say his name was I'm surprised gone? people aren't offended by that. Yeah. <laughs> like why aren't people offended by that? You know, that like a non autistic guy is playing an autistic character. That's a good question. You should raise that concern with them. Just again to bit Like if they something. had like fucking a a non black guy playing a black character, they'd be flipping shit. You know. I don't see why they can get away with that with like fucking autistic. Like that's the same thing I had with like atypical. You know, that just seems like I like there's so many like autistic people out in this world. You know, you could just put like an ad on Reddit or something and and just ask for a fucking actor to apply. Like I'm sure there's one if not multiple like autistic actors out there they could have had for that. Yeah, just advertise. I mean, the guy does a decent job. Like, at least after the first season, but still. Yeah. Well, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time on another Real News Quarantine. We'll be talking about whatever comes up. Have a nice evening. Stay safe and wash your hands.